What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Hershey Act and today we're talking about what's new at Hershey Park this season. Now this year in 2024 there's not as much new stuff going on as we had last year. Last year was a big year for Hershey Park. We got Wildcats Revenge. It was a great new season for Hershey Park. But now in 2024 we have some more minor additions but still there's a lot going on so we're going to talk about everything you need to know that's brand new at Hershey Park in this video. Without further ado, let's talk about the first new change from Hershey Park, and that is surrounding Comet. The oldest operating wooden roller coaster at the park is getting some rockin' slick new trains and some new lap bars that people are a bit polarized about. Comet is removing the old buzz bar restraints in favor for these new ones shown here. For stars, let's just give Hershey props about these new trains because they look so fresh, so clean. I love the design through and through. The blue and the gold, they just look so good on top of one another. I cannot wait to take photos, get footage of Comet running through these new trains. They seriously look so clean. But let's talk about the restraints because that's really the bigger story here. Most enthusiasts are a bit upset about the buzz bars just because in terms of wind roller coasters, buzz bars are the gold standard. They're the best for obtaining airtime. These new restraints are going to be a bit more similar to Lightning Racer. That's a close comparison inside the park. But they're not identical to Lightning Racer restraints, but they're not going to allow for as much airtime. But in my personal opinion, Comet compared to other old-fashioned wind roller coasters is not the biggest airtime junkie of them all. And I still think these new restraints are going to provide a great experience for Comet. And quite frankly, I'm really excited to ride Comet with these new restraints. I don't think it's fair to knock something until you try it. I'm going to give these new restraints a good test. And I still think Comet is going to be one of the best rides at Hershey Park, even with the updated restraints. And with those trains, how can you not love it? The next new addition to Hershey Park is relatively on the minor scale, but it's definitely still worth a mention, and that is the new Giant Size Lounge. And I made a full in-depth video talking about the lounge and the new amenities and features it will have, but it's going to be a very unique concept to say the least. This lounge can only be accessed by Giant Size Season Pass holders, and will be replacing the Turkey Hill Parlor back at Midway America in the very back of the park. Inside the lounge itself is going to be really nothing crazy. You're going to have some vending machines, some free refill stations, and overall it's just a place where guests can hang out and relax and get just a break from the hot heat or a break from the cold winter air during Christmas candy lane time. Overall, for how much people are paying for the Giant Size Season Pass, I was maybe expecting a little bit more from this edition, and it's a little weird that the lounge is in the very back of the park in an area that's not as populated. I feel it could make more sense to have this lounge in the beginning to middle area of the park, but I digress. Again, for me personally, I will not be able to experience the lounge. I'm not a giant size season pass holder, so I'm curious to see how Hershey Park enforces the rules to see how they're going to prevent non-giant size season pass holders from entering. I imagine there's going to be some card swipe system or perhaps there's going to be a park employee outside the lounge. It should be interesting to see how Hershey Park controls the lounge, but it should be a cool feature nonetheless. It does suck that we're losing the Turkey Hill Parlor as a result of this, though. And just like that, we have two down. Only one more thing to talk about before we get to the last major change coming to Hershey Park this year. If you're enjoying this video, I'd really appreciate if you would subscribe. This is your number one place for all things Hershey Park. And if you're planning on visiting the park or just a fan of Hershey Park, you definitely want to subscribe because this is going to be your number one channel. Give me a chance and I will not let you down. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. But now, let's talk about Sky Rush, the biggest change coming to Hershey Park this season, no doubt about it. The days of Thigh Crush are no longer here after a, well over a decade after its opening, Hershey Park is finally listening to Guess's claim to please fix the Sky Rush restraints. It's still surreal to think and realize, but it's finally happening. New restraints are coming to Sky Rush, along with a new logo, a new loading and unloading experience. There's a lot happening with Sky Rush. Let's break it down real quick. So, of course, Sky Rush was known for its iconic thigh crush restraints, restraints that just push down on your thighs and cause a relatively painful ride experience for the majority of riders. And that is officially gone coming this year. Hershey Park and Intimate have installed new restraints, and while it's not been confirmed what restraints exactly they're adding, it's pretty much speculating confirmed it's going to be awfully similar to the Velocicoaster style restraints that are known for providing a smooth ride experience and are able to get a lot more guests, a lot more accessible for most riders, and most of all, they're comfortable. Velocicoasters are some of my favorite restraints that I've ever been on for any roller coaster. 
but that's not all. They also revealed a new logo for Skyrush. They also announced they're gonna have a new loading and unloading experience because Skyrush kind of had that weird and awkward scenario where you had people unloading and loading from the stage side of the station at the same exact time. I'd expect maybe something like Wildcat's Revenge where there's a separate loading and unloading station perhaps. That's just my speculation though, but the current setup is very awkward, very janky. That area of the station gets very overpopulated. Search your park and try to fix that as well. But the major thing going on here is the restraints, of course. And this is kind of in a similar boat of comment where a lot of enthusiasts are on the ropes about it, shockingly, because even though a lot of people dislike the Skyrush restraints, it kind of added this weird charm to the ride. Because Skyrush is, of course, known for being a super intense experience, and the restraints kind of added to that experience. They gave crazy air time, they pushed against your thighs so hard, it kind of just added to the intensity rush you get by riding Skyrush. So people are going to wonder, how much are these new restraints going to differ the ride experience? And for me personally, I think that's just a bit of a reaction. These restraints, I think, are undoubtedly going to enhance Skyrush to a whole nother level. I think Skyrush is already one of the best coasters in the world, and I think it's going to become even better after these new restraints. But that's just my opinion. I'd love to hear what you guys think as well. Let me know in the comments down below what you're most excited for. Comment, Skyrush, new lounge, maybe something else that I miss. Definitely let me know in the comments down below. Again, there's not a whole lot going on for Richard Park this off-season, or this season rather, but granted we just got a new coaster last year of Wildcats Revenge. This is still a pretty good season for Richard Park in a quote-unquote down year. That's going to do it for everything coming to the sweetest place on Nerf this upcoming season. Let me know how excited you guys are by smacking that like button and subscribing to the channel. Again, if you love Hershey Park, take a shot on me, subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate to have you here. But for that, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is JD the Hershey Addict signing off, and I hope to see you guys soon. Peace.